coming back. It's 1 a.m., I think. And right now, then you know what that means here on Home Front. That means it's time for a l -l 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 lightning round. So what we've got queued up is eight inventors. That's eight, not seven, not six, not four, eight inventors and people who are going to bring by their products and introduce them and let me look at them lickety splits. So let's get this party started right, right. Great. Say your name, little lady. Hi, I'm Diane from Seminole, Florida. Mmm, Diane, I mm -hmm. like that name. That's a name I can get behind. What you got in the box? Well, I like to walk with my Yorkies, but you know, Yorkies have tiny little legs. They yep. can't walk as much as I nope. want to walk with them. So I have invented a robot Yorkie. It's a robot Yorkie! It's How much is this Yorkie. thing going for? This is going for $29.95. You can't beat that deal. Wait, that's you... in euros, so it's approximately 45 US 45 dollars. 45 bucks, 45 bucks American. Now this dog will walk with you as far as you want, not like those real live blood and flesh Yorkies who kaputs out on you. Can I still feed this Yorkie even you, though he's a robot? No, you don't have to. All he needs is electricity. What if I want to feed him like little robot toys or something? Nope. All right, great, good for me. Robot Yorkie, thank you, Danielle. Stay <laughs> freaky. Here we go, inventor number two. What's your name, son, and what you got in that box? Dan, level two, Barrington, Michigan, all right? And I like computers and farming. Of course and you do, I like you milk with my coffee, right? Yes. Right, so what I created here was a computer that you can milk. All you have to do is enter, enter backspace, enter, enter space. Now, are you saying that I can apply pressure to this computer and get milk out of it to put in things like cereal? You doggone right. Did I st 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 stutter? You did right there, but you didn't when you said you could get milk out of this here computer. Now, say I want to attach my modem to it and check out my America Online account. Can I still do that on this here computer? It's a computer, okay? That I can get milk out that of. That you can get milk out so of. So I can feed my children with this here computer. Uh, yeah, yes, you can. What's your name? Dan. Dan, you are a freak. I love it. Get going, boy. Ah. Woo! <laughs> All right, that's two down, that's six to go, 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 go. Here we go, home from what's your name? I'm Patricia. What I'm... you got in that box? Well, uh, <laughs> well, I'm from Reedsburg, Wisconsin. I'm level are. three, and in this box, I have a mask that turns me into me. From South Elgin, Illinois, this, a level five. This is a transformational mask. Yeah, take it off, and I'm Patricia from Reedsburg, Wisconsin. Coffee's making me think of heaven. Put on the mask, and now I'm thinking of waking up. Now, will this mask only turn people into Mary, or is there a number of options they have that this mask will turn them into? This mask will turn you into whoever is the opposite of you in the world. Oh no, that means this would turn me into Mr. T. Keep that witchcraft away from me. But let's sell it on here. <laughs> Home front, lightning round. Mary, Penelope, what was your other name? Uh, Pamela. I'm Patricia. Patricia, good enough. Stay freaky, be careful with that thing. All right, here we go. That's four down, that's four to go. Lightning round, home front. What's your name? What you got in that box? And level five, Latex, Florida. That's a barrel. Boing. Because I'm into <laughs> barrel racing. Of course you are. All right, now this barrel, if I wanted to go off a of Niagara Falls, would it let me? Yes. If I wanted to roll down a hill with a bunch of puppies, would it let me? Yes. If I wanted to play a game of Donkey Kong with real to scale monkeys and Italian people, would it let me? No, because the physics of that game are bizarre. That was a trick question. I passed. But now, this is great. How much is this? Going for take it, take it. I'm gonna take this barrel. Ah, woo! That's five down, three to go. I'm wearing a barrel and we ain't stopping yet. What's your name? What you got in that box? Yeah, hello. I'm Taylor from Big you... Harbor, Washington. Uh huh. And I caught shot put and discus. But sometimes many of you are little tiny people and you wish you could throw the shot put, but you're tiny. Right. So I have made a shot put that has magic in it. This so is that once it leaves your hand, it goes, and all you have to do is think really hard, and it will go that distance. This is a shot put that moves with your mind? Yes. I can control this shot put with my mind. This is a telekinesis shot put. So it's like a little round ball pet that yes. I can command with yes. my brain sickle. You can command it to do whatever you want, much like East Germany. Okay, if I wanted to use this shot put as a paperweight, 
on no. some really heavy paper. It, would it do it? It would only take that paper to another part of your home office. I love it. What's your name? My name is Taylor from Gig Harbor. Man, we need to talk to the people back home in Gig Harbor, Washington about I sound exactly like everyone from Gig Harbor. Well, then I need to be there because I've never been. Okay. Thank you so much, Gig Harbor represent. Away. That is six down. The barrel is getting warmer, and we got two to go. Home front, what's your name? What you got in that box? My name is Tatiana, level two, San Francisco, California. And drinking coffee makes me think of re-energizing myself. I love dancing with dolphins. And inside of this box are some dolphins are trained to do the cha-cha slam. Oh my gosh, you need to take these dolphins to a wedding, friend. How many times have you gone to a wedding and said to yourself, I wish there was a waterborne mammal that would dance with me right now? <laughs> I reckon a lot think about it. Thank you, Tatiana, and thank you, Mr. Dancing Dolphins. You stay raw, girl. Boo! Boo, man, she's got magic. She's out. The barrel is starting to chafe, but we are not stopping. We have one to go. What's your name? What you got in that box? Mark, level four from Coleman, Alabama. I've got some rocks that I catalog, but my real piece de resistance is my pet skink. <laughs> who doesn't love a skink? And Check who doesn't out. love talking in French when referring to a skink? It's a skink. <laughs> And it's my pet. It's my pet skink. Is this skink for sale, or are you just bringing it, it to show off? It is not for sale. It is absolutely not for sale. This is my pet skink. So you have crossbred a skunk with something with, with an pink. eye. Oh my gosh. With pink. With the singer pink? The singer pink. This is a singing skunk a that you pet. have no potential to own. But those rocks are carefully cataloged, as is my hobby. Mm. So I have cataloged these rocks. Those are for sale yes. at an attractive price, but my pet skink is just here for love. So you are a rock collector who happens to dabble in genetics and bio rock mechanics. Rock cataloger. I do not collect them. I find other people's collections, and I arrange them carefully and label them. You are a steward for other people's rocks. You are correct. Oh, I love it. You take that skink before I take it home. Leave the rock. Fly, skink, fly. <laughs> you didn't say it could fly. I didn't know until well, this moment. Whose power is that? Is that Pink's power or the skunk's? Who it remains to be seen. There's a third party that's been crossbred with that skunk in Pink that allows it to soar. That is it, folks. This has been another issue of Lightning Round. The barrel is really hurting me. Have a great evening. I'll see you before you know it. What you got in that box?